is a question of orchestrating in your own mind so that it makes rhythmic and musical sense. For example, uh, one line um, from Macbeth. Never heard a Lady Macbeth deliver this wine line collect correctly, or so that what I think is correct. And that is the line, and who would have thought the old man to have said, had so much blood in him? Well, what is the image behind that line? The image clearly is there's blood all over the place. She's referring to Duncan, the king, yes. the dead king. Right. Yes, but he, he's been hacked to death, and there's blood all over the place. Well, we all know that there, everybody has blood, but what we don't know when we look at a scene like that, who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Oh. So the image you get is it's all out. Right. Now, is that observation, Bill, or is that it's, orchestration? It's, uh, it's my, ob it's my own, own observation. I, you know, I, if, if other uh, uh, Lady Macbeths uh, can say it the way they want, that's, that's their privilege. But what? I think what that, that emphasis does, it illuminates what she is actually seeing in her mind. Well, you know, we don't speak in terms of commas or periods or exclamation marks or question marks. We speak in relation to the rhythm of our own thinking, our own thoughts. So therefore, what you do is you take a Shakespearean speech and break it down into thoughts. Not commas and period, pay absolutely no attention to the, attention to the punctuation at all. What, what, what makes uh, uh, rhythmic sense and also keeps, keeps uh, Shakespeare's uh, 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 demands alive? He makes enormous demands. A thought, a thought can be a long, long thought. What a rogue and peasant slave am I? Is it not monstrous that this player here, but a fiction, a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage wan, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function shooting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing. You said it with such natural authority mm -hmm. that I, sitting here, instantly thought that you knew everything about this and what was this going to mean. Whereas when I say it, it doesn't quite seem to sit with that authority. Where does that come from? When you speak a word <laughs> of Shakespeare, it's as if you own all the bits of it. Probably, when I speak it, I own a little bit of it. Probably doing Tiny Alice in New York, which is probably the strangest answer you'll ever get. Yes, it is. From, <laughs> from Edward Albee. Because uh, John Gilgood was in it, Irene Worth and myself, we played the three major roles in it. None of us knew what the play was about. Right from the get-go, we didn't know what the play was about. And Edward, God bless him, he's a sweet man, but in those days flatly refused to, to explain what he meant by the play. So what I'm saying is, what we did, what the exercise was, to say all these lines as if we knew what they meant. So you just impose an authority at times. Yes. And the other thing that you do is you commit to a word in a way that's uncanny. Uh, that, that when I hear you say a word, it starts to sing and lift. The word itself takes on its life. And I, I'm i doing a little class. I'm trying to teach them in my inadequacy, trying to teach some young actors. Mm -hmm. And I cannot convey to them how you, make, you so give power to a word that it takes on its own life. It doesn't so much take on its own life as it takes on the image that is behind the word or behind the line. And I, I go back to the image of who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him. Right. Because the image behind the line must be that what she has seen is an appalling amount of blood splattered throughout the room. And the best way she, she looks at this body, and Jesus Christ, I didn't think there was that much blood in anybody. <laughs> yeah, yes. 
Now, did you have an image of that room with that blood when you said that? I never played Lady Macbeth, but contrary <laughs> to popular opinion. Uh, but, uh, Lady Bracknell, but not Lady yes, Macbeth. Yes, but that's another thing. Is that a regret that you haven't played Lady Macbeth? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not a regret. Um, but the, that's, the, it, the, there is a certain image behind some of, some of the lines that are unmistakable. That the character has a particular image, and you know how 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 do you uh, phrase the line so that that image is revealed? 